Hello and welcome back to another episode. Today you're just going to have to put up with my slightly greasy appearance, I'm afraid. Uh, it's pushing 23 to 25 degrees Celsius right now, which I know before you type it in the comments is far from the hottest that people experience on this planet but it's combined with 65 to 70 percent humidity and no wind no air movement right now it's, it's like seven mile an hour gusts every now and then so we've got the fans blasting in the other room i've had to turn off my desk fan oh, to record this <laughs> so so that's just the way it is um, and, uh, and I'm not remotely complaining, obviously. Uh, <laughs> that said, though, we will, hopefully in the next couple of hours, see a break in the, in the weather. Uh, there might be a thunderstorm about to happen, which will be blessed relief. I'll be outside like I've just escaped from Shawshank. Um, just, ah, rain on me. Anyway, <laughs> um, I just thought I'd just quickly give you a little uh, chuckle with the fact that I've only just discovered what a virtual camera is on OBS. I'm currently using OBS to record this. And uh, yesterday, I was I was really quite pleased with myself. I, for years now, have been, been struggling with uh, this thing. It's a mini tripod, a gorilla style, but Joby brand, J-O-B-Y. And uh, it's got magnetic feet as well, which makes it really useful going out in the wild. I can stick it to lampposts and fences and things. I've used it to get the, yeah, the, right, the right angle, the right shot for a time lapse, for example. And uh, I've also been using it now for years <laughs> to mount a second webcam for the PC. Um, obviously, I have this webcam here. It's mounted to the bottom of my second monitor is quite handy but if I've been recording say an interview or I do a, a weekly um, uh, vlog series with, with a colleague I I've always wanted to be able to capture myself as I am now on OBS but also I've wanted the the person who I'm talking to to be able to see me and whenever I tried that what would happen is that zoom or Facebook uh, video chat or you know even Skype back in the day uh, would would freak out because you're already using the webcam to capture yourself via OBS. You know, I've lined up the shots. I'm quite happy with the, with, with what's in the background. Uh, so so I'm using that camera for um, for my you know the A angle for me and the B angle is for the person who I'm talking to. Uh, and uh, I was really you know really pleased that I came up with a, with a solution that meant that I could free up this to go back in my camera bag uh, by mounting a cold foot shoe to the front of this monitor here. Um, and uh, and on, the, on the second webcam, uh, mounting uh, the, well, the foot, basically, that will go into that. So I could mount this on the front of the screen and, um, and there you have it. It's just a... Uh, a perfect solution. In fact, I'll put it on the screen right now because I'm never going to be able to be doing this again, it seems. Um, and <laughs> so there it is. You can't see it, but it's there now mounted on the screen pointing at me. Um, turns out that uh, OBS has this button, which I have noticed before. And I've also seen this as a potential uh, video feed when handling Zoom and other other video call um, software that there is this o OBS virtual camera and whenever I've clicked on it it's just got the OBS logo and a camera symbol with like a line through and I just thought it doesn't, what, it, what is this thing there's a button that says start virtual camera on OBS I'm looking at it right now and <laughs> and uh, when, when I when I proudly proudly exclaimed on the discord look what I've done look at this amazing solution I've got now for my second webcam I don't have to to balance it on the desk anymore I don't have to worry about a wire pulling it off the desk because it's only precariously balanced just for the video call that I'm doing um uh Charminar, also known as Rob of Redbeard Tours pointed out that the virtual camera can do that for you so 
Uh, I, I tried this out yesterday. You can see how happy I am that, that this worked uh, so well. And it's perfect. It's a really great solution. I love it. It means I can just frame the camera. This is the shot that I'm capturing for me, but also as well, this is this, this is the way that, you know, when I talk to, to the audience, typically I have to talk not to the camera that that, that my, uh, my, uh, my colleague is looking at me via. But now I can talk to them and the audience at the same time through the one camera and capture it um, as well as using it to broadcast via the video call. And I'm really happy about that. Um, <laughs> no, no, I am. I really am. I, I'm, it's genuine. I was saying, I was saying to Mrs. Soup yesterday, this is fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I needed. When I went hunting for a second webcam, when my other one broke uh, during COVID, I had to pay slightly through the nose to replace the uh, the Advent Full HD 1080p, which actually is an excellent webcam. Uh, in fact, that's what I'm recording with right now. Um, excellent and affordable, crucially. Uh, you know, they, that, that would have saved me money, would have saved me time. Uh, it's a shame I didn't know about this sooner. It's a shame I didn't know about this sooner. Um, but ultimately, uh, fantastic. Because <laughs> I was, I was, I was really pleased with my new, with my new mounting solution. Just boop, put the, put the camera on the screen. Bish bash bosh done. But no, no, it, uh, none of it was necessary. And, uh, and now we know. Now we know. <laughs> anyway, the reason I'm using the desktop setup today, uh, not just because obviously it's useful for illustrating the now redundant webcam rig, uh, but also as, as well because it's been a weird couple of days. Our uh, wee camper van needed its um, windshield wipers motor and the rig attached to that uh, replacing. And there's sort of these two bars that go sort of side to side and they're attached to the to the wipers. It looks like a cool dance, doesn't it? Uh, and uh, the, the motor, it seems, was knackered, basically. It, it just kept on not working. And it's not, it, 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 first, it first not worked uh, last year on the way back from a place called Bedford, uh, more or less on the edge of London as far as we're concerned and uh, there was there was heavy rain on the way back really heavy rain so I put the wipers into the third position to get to get, to get the going and um, that's that's the second part of the dance isn't it so you got the I think anyway they would they wouldn't work the switch we, we thought the switch might be broken on the third position uh, but actually no it turns out it was the motor and Again, a couple of days ago, it was pouring down with rain. I really needed it to be working. And after a few swipes of the of the windshield wipers, it just stopped. And uh, actually, speaking of Charminar, uh, he was in the van with me, actually, when this happened. It was very frustrating because it's a bit dangerous driving. Even they've got a nice big window. When the rain's coming down, it does distort stuff. And uh, it wasn't fun. So we went, went to get it uh, replaced. It cost the better part of £800, which I'm not going to think about right now. And uh, when we went to pick it up, I was really happy with it. I was like, wow, fantastic. Got in the van, only to see that the windshield had cracked. And uh, uh, I, I, initially, I don't like confrontation, and I was just so pleased to have the fix done. I just went, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get in touch with you. But by the time I got home, I realized, no, 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 this, uh, this wasn't like this this morning. Um, this has happened because of the work, which was happening right underneath the window. That's where the motor goes. So I texted him, said, well, I'll call you tomorrow when your business partner's in. We'll figure it out. And uh, long story short, because we can't definitely prove there was no small crack at the beginning of the day, uh, we've basically gone, they've gone like 60, we've gone 40 on getting the window replaced, uh, which happened this morning. So within 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 48 hours, it was uh, replaced and fixed. So now I've got a nice new window. They de-rusted and sealed everything around the window. So really, I mean, we've replaced more or less every moving part in that vehicle now. Uh, <laughs> 
it, it's, it's, it should be fine. Why am I saying that? Why am I saying that? Uh, you know, a couple of years ago, we had to replace the blooming engine, didn't we? So anyway, it's, it's, it's been an interesting couple of days. I didn't really have time because it just completely munged, uh, uh, mullered my, my schedule, schedule. Schedule, schedule, schedule. Uh, schedule. <laughs> I never know which is right. Anyway, uh, and hence, I only really had time to sit down and just press record. Go! And that's why I'm here now, talking to you in a slightly delirious way, because I'm so warm. So with that in mind, I'm going to head off. I, I need to turn this this desk fan back, back on. And um, I think what I'll do, seeing as this is, this is in front of me and it's been distracting me all the way through, I'm going to blow some bubbles. Yeah, that was fun. Actually, that was fun with the light there, isn't it? One more. Okay. I like it. I like it. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go and turn my desktop fan back on again. Actually, no, I'm going to go and stand in front of the big fan for a bit. Because uh, obviously, we don't really have AC in this country, uh, certainly not domestic. And uh, <clears throat> until next time, you guys take care. Bye bye.